Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November favorites. I'm so excited to do this video because I have some great favorites in here, some new, some old, and just some that I really want to tell you about. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I would love to have you come join because once we hit 250 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. So I did one once we hit 100 subscribers and we're doing another one once I hit 250 so go ahead and subscribe for that because it's gonna be really great so also if you're wondering about the makeup I'm wearing it'll be linked um, it'll be listed down below for you not linked <laughs> just rascal. it'll be listed down below for you so that you can go check it out and yeah so without further ado I'm just gonna make this intro short and we're gonna get started so the first product that I have just been really into this month I did a whole video with a bunch of these products that I'll be mentioning and it was my holiday sets try on video and first off is the Tarte um, nine ways to shine so these these little trios have like usually two blushes and a highlighter or a blush and a bronzer and these are so handy for being on the go traveling especially with the holiday season coming up it just has really everything you need in here and i think these are really great really handy and just overall really nice quality so if you want to see me chat more in depth about these products go ahead and click the link in the description box below the next product is another holiday favorite holiday set and it's the Too faced gloss set this retails for like 25 bucks um, I got it on a really good deal with my Ulta points. These are really good glosses. They're really shiny, glittery, but you don't, this is some of the glitter inside, but like you don't feel the glitter on your lips. That is what I love. I hate a gritty gloss. I like something really smooth and whatnot, and those really do it for me. And so, yeah, definitely check those out. I think this is my last holiday set. I don't know, but it's the... Too Faced Let It Snow Girl set. This is really nice. Again, really handy for on the go because you have everything kind of like in one. Um, these eyeshadows are really cool. And I like how they give you a variety rather than just a bunch of neutrals. You know, they have a green blue. They have some glitters. They have a cranberry shade. They have something to enhance the everyday neutral look, which is nice because a lot of them just throw in some browns and call it good. Whereas that gives you the ability to enhance but the ability to wear every day um, I love the bronzer in here this is just chocolate Soleil bronzer and then the blushes if you've been watching my videos I wear these a lot and these are in description boxes of previous videos quite often so yeah these are really great I definitely recommend picking that set up if you're gonna pick up one from Too Faced I would either have it be the glosses or the Let It Snow Girl set. Next, this one is dirty because I just used it today, but it's the Ego Tool Sponge. This is so good. It's $4.99 at Ulta, and I find it way, to be way better than the Morphe Sponge. I used to like the Morphe Sponge, but I feel like they reformulated it, and I don't like it anymore. Like, I just feel like it's too... I just feel like it doesn't distribute product like it used to and let me know if you guys feel the same way because I just I don't like it anymore and I really wish I did because it was a good good sponge but this is a couple dollars cheaper and yeah it has that kind of spongy feel to it it's also cheaper than a beauty blender and beauty blenders are so expensive I cannot get over that or emphasize it enough that they are so expensive for something that you're probably going to toss in like three to six months depending on how well you keep you take care of it so that is just something to always keep in mind is that stuff like this you don't need to splurge on sponges I don't really think you need to spend a lot of money on and maybe you you know you're watching this and you're like oh like you're wrong or whatever that's okay but in my opinion I'd rather spend that 20 bucks on this gloss set you know so just me but um if you want to find a really great drugstore sponge, this is it. This has been something that I've mentioned before, but I'm wearing it today, and it's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh my goodness, this is just, for me, I'm so fair, and so I have issues finding a good bronzer that's not too red, or too dark, or just looks m like mud on my face, because I'm so fair that not a lot of things work for me like it would for light or medium or deep skin tones, you know? So... This is just the 6676 bronzer. 
Um, I can use this with a really light hand. The brush that I like using is the JH06 from Morphe. This is with the Jaclyn Hill collection. But this is very, isn't very dense by any means. And what I like to do is I like to just get my brush in there, tap off the excess, and just kind of do a light grazing on the cheeks and on and in for a contour because I hate a harsh contour but I do want to give myself a little bit of color because I am so freaking fair so if you are fair like me which um, can really be a curse <laughs> this is a really great bronzer for you I do know they make different shades of this so yeah go check that out but it's really nice so I once said that I did not like this product, and this is the Anastasia Brow Definer. Um, I love the Brow Wiz. If you've been watching me for a while, you guys know I love that product. I think it is so good, so skinny, really gets in there, but I really enjoyed this, and this was a lot quicker. This is the Brow Definer from Anastasia, if you don't know what that is, and I just felt like it really just gave me a more natural look to my brows. Um, I'm not wearing it today, I'm wearing a different one that I will talk about, probably in next month's favorites, um, but this is a really great brow product. I'm in the shade Soft Brown, so if you have my kind of um, hair color, that's what I would go for, but I really like it, and I feel like... I like a skinnier brow pencil, but this is was actually a really nice surprise for me these past few months, so I really wanted to mention it. This was something I also tried in my holiday try-on kits. I'm wearing it today. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. I love this. So if you guys don't know, I have oily skin, and it's really developed more as I've gotten older. I'm 22. When I was 16, yeah, I had some oil, but I feel like I'm getting more oil as I get older which is odd this is an oil absorbing um, transfer proof long wearing foundation and I love this I think it is so good it looks really great on my skin and I have problems because my oil is really where I'm most oily is my forehead my forehead is where everything bad happens really and you know, foundation can very easily break, break down, and I, you know, I don't have all the time in the world to just be avidly touching up my makeup three, four times a day. And this, you need such a small amount of two, which is really helpful because this is, you know, like a $35 foundation, but I only need like a pea size amount. It's more foundations, you need a lot more product. And for this, I get the full coverageness of it, love. But I also get a good matte look throughout the day, and it really prevents oil coming through. I mean, part of it has to do with a good oil absorbing primer and whatnot. This is such a good foundation. I feel like if you have combo oily skin, this is going to be great for you because it's going to help you stay matte and not stress about like, oh, I can't touch my face because I have foundation on, you know, and I think this is really great. Go check it out. Seriously, I think Taji did a video on it, and I think that's what really got me to it. But, yeah. If you guys are my shade, um, around my skin tone, my I am po shade 0.5. <laughs> so, my skin tone is fair. My undertone is cool. Pretty accurate. So, they have a ton of different shades, though. But, I was just saying, if you're around my tone, this is what shade I use. <laughs> This is a mascara that I have been loving for years, and I just opened a new one of it. Um, I do like to rotate my mascaras, obviously, so I don't get an eye infection. And I really enjoy um, this mascara. I've talked about it in the past, but I open up a new one and I'm like, oh my gosh, like the like I just feel so great now. And this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara. This is really great. This brush is very underwhelming. You'd think, oh, like that looks so boring. You sure that's good and it's great I think it's so good I'm wearing it today I'm not a false eyelash wearer whatsoever like I don't do false eyelashes and I felt like this was really helpful for me getting a full lash effect really widening opening my eyes but giving me long lustrous lashes not clumping either and I hate a clumpy mascara and I think one of those mascaras that really clumped up a little bit was the Too Faced Damn Girl mascara if you I did a whole comparison video of it so I will link that down below for you 
but I found it to be very difficult. You know, it was it was very touchy. Like it would it could clump up easily, so you can't you know put too much product on. Make sure the brush is wiped off. This you don't have to worry about it. And yeah, so check this out. I'm not kidding you when I say this is really good. The palette that I also touched on a little bit in my holiday set try on kind of video and I'm wearing it today this was just kind of like a neutral golden eye for look for work but it's the naked honey palette from urban decay and really originally I was like mm, I don't know because really the pops of color in here are these two gold shades and the rest of them are just browns and I talk about you know the pops of color and and all that stuff and how they can be quite deceiving to the purchaser of the palette and I was like oh I'll try it out I'll, I'll take a look at it if I don't like it I'll return it and I ended up falling in love with it this formula is amazing it really blends itself I don't really say that about a ton of eyeshadows and I felt like this really also complements my eye color too because I have brown eyes and I felt like it really looks good on my my skin it really brightens my eyes and gives me something fun to work with. So I think this is a really great palette and I would definitely go check it out. Um, I haven't tried any other any of the other honey products like the body powder, the honey scented spray, any of that. And I'm just frankly not interested in it. Um, I was just mainly interested in the palette. <laughs> this one I have not talked about really on my channel but I've been kind of playing around with it. If you want to see me do a look with this video, give me a thumbs up. But this is the ColourPop Midnight Masquerade palette. You guys know I'm a huge Disney fan. My favorite princess is Aurora, and she is finally in this palette. Like, hallelujah. Like, she is an original. And yet we've seen, like, Cinderella a couple times and Belle a couple times. But now we get Aurora. She's right here. Really great. And... I really enjoy this palette. I think it's really um, nice. I like ColourPop's shadow formulas for the most part. I mean, they're not like my absolute favorite, but they're pretty up there. And I really like the blending, blendability of this. I really want to experiment with these glitters as well. I think that would be something fun to work with as well as the shade Frog and Wife. But I've done plenty of neutral looks for work and I really enjoy this palette. I did a whole look with the Disney Villains palette, so I will link that video down below for you, but that was really fun. Um, I also wear, oh, the original, so this is also a really great palette too, but really all three of these Disney palettes are pretty great. Not gonna The final product in this favorites video is the Tati Beauty palette. You guys kind of already guessed it. I did a five looks one palette series with this palette and that's where I do five different looks with the same palette. You guys have all seen this. It's been all over trend mood, the internet. If you follow Tati, it's been all over her channel and I'm just really impressed with this overall. I think this is beautiful. And this is one of those formulas, like the Naked Honey palette, where it blends itself. It's so good. I cannot get over it. It is $48, but it's one of the only palettes I've been using besides like this one and the ColourPop one. So if you really want a good, high quality palette, get the Tati Beauty one. I know she's doing like a pre-sale pre-order or pre-sale on it so go check that out if you are interested because she did sell out but there is more coming in 2020 as she said and I'm really excited because I definitely want to get the other volumes of this palette because this is just volume one I'm excited to see what she's got in store for the next year so yeah um oh I forgot one but it's in my bedroom I'll just We'll talk about it now, but it's the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple Scent. It just reminds me of Christmas every year, and I have the body cream and the fragrance, and I've been just using it all day every day because it is just, oh, my favorite holiday scent, and I use it every year. So yeah, that is like one of my favorites. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me when you click on my videos and you subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Um, I'll have it right here. But it's it's really fun. I'm lo I love Instagram, posting a lot on there. Love doing stories. Those are my favorites. <laughs>
But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Here's to another month of really fun product reviews, tutorials, anti-hauls. Like I got a really big anti-haul coming and I could not be more excited about it. So subscribe for that. Also subscribe for the giveaway because we're doing a giveaway when we get 250 subscribers. I, I think that's a good idea. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.